six kennels falling apart. That's exactly what one manager says is happening at his animal shelter, and they're afraid it will only get worse. ABC Action News reporter Maricela Burgos is in Pasco County where they're telling her the cages are starting to become really unsafe for the animals. This is an example of the problem at this shelter. You can see this piece is rusting away, making it dangerous for the animals here. The kennel's patchwork isn't cutting it any longer. The SPCA Sunco shelter manager can't hide the rust, the broken pieces, the sections of twisted fencing, or the zip ties keeping the kennels together. The cages, how they are and how they have been in the past, have just been, oh, it's just a visual thing. It doesn't matter. It doesn't affect the health of the animal. Well, now it's starting to. Justin Edwards says the biggest problem now is that their dogs are cutting themselves against pieces of metal. Because the fencing is so short, sharp and rusted and jagged in places. It's just doing harm to the animals. Here is a picture of a deep gash another dog suffered recently after a clamp snapped apart. When we have people come in, you know, they kind of look at the cages, you know, and, and the flooring and just look at it and it looks, it looks run down, things like that. Edward says it got this bad after years and years of not having the money to spend on purchasing entirely new kennels. They want to replace about 20 of them in their adoption room. We're just fortunate enough to just have just enough money to replace it piece by piece. But now it's it's gotten to a point where piece by piece isn't working any longer. He knows this nonprofit cannot do it without the community. We cannot do this without direct support from people who care like us. Edward says he's putting together a board of directors who would do fundraising and write grants, but these people would be volunteers, and so he says he's having trouble building a team. Reporting from Pasco County, Maricela Burgos, ABC Action News.